<laughs> go with the fucking program. It's not about ice cream today. We're, we're talking about. What are we talking about? Oh, yeah. Because this is about our up? egos. Yeah. Welcome to Same Ish Different Day, a space where the thoughts are just as. Fr <laughs> <laughs> Anything. <laughs> Welcome to Same Ish Different Day, a space where everything is on the table and the thoughts are just as frenetic as your Twitter feed. And just like your feed, we kick it off with some talks on some bullshit hey, of the day and eventually bring you some value with well-cited research on stories you may have missed. Yeah, th this show is the long-term format of marching in into madness. A duo of journalists of that are developing a content project about their passions. So, get ready for that. Yeah. <laughs> some weeks, our estranged strange why mom drops by to keep us in line but she's been missing for a little bit so we don't know what's going on with that but but the line please <laughs> but she recently went out f for milk and a pack of bogies but at least that's what she she, she told us so we assume she's going to be back anytime now oh and and socials socials were on all of them tiktok ig <laughs> youtube and twitch where we live stream these podcasts on a weekly basis. If you tune in, you can ride out with us afterwards. Speaking of of which, the future variant of this idiot will, will introduce, introduce us in three, two, one. And then you just bring up the zip. What's, what's good, up, internets? Man? Is it what's up? Is it what's up? What's up, internets? Welcome what's up, to... internets? I have ADHD. Welcome to Same Ish Different Day, the podcast with a name that we can't say anymore. And if anything, we made a good decision doing this because even if we were popping, our videos would be demonetized on YouTube now. Yay. Huzzah. Yeah. Huzzah. <laughs> Huzzah. So, <laughs> new format, new us. This is our first episode of the new year. It's nice to see you guys again. Um, You'll notice some changes, but we're being a little loosey-goosey. We're still giving you some news today. We'll get back into our trending topics for the next episode. We're doing some traditional potting, touching base on the new year, where we're at, saying hi to you guys. And after that, I want to touch base on how La Costa, Nostra, La Costa Nostra got dinged. And then Raza wants to talk about how everyone's favorite animated alcoholic actor got called out. After that, we got a few extras... So Calling stick out around. is an understatement. <laughs> That's true. That's true. Otherwise, we're getting into it. So, this one, we want to do a year review. It's uh, 2023 now, and we figured we might talk about what we're doing. Raza gave me some talking points, so I figured I'll start it out. I want to throw it his way with the very first one and ask him, what are some highlights that we liked that we did together other than... Uh, having the utter situation that occurred. There, okay, yeah. <laughs> okay, that was my high, <laughs> highlight. I don't know about, about you, but that will, will, was mine. Um, what was the highlight about mine? It was you know, um, this year, last year went by so fucking slow that I forgot half half of the year. Uh, I think it was like the fact that. We are did more. Did, that was my high, highlights. We actually got more sh uh, shorts going, more TikTok content going. I think this last year, a, a massive highlight for me was that our TikTok finally popped off. Our, yeah, our, our TikTok off. I wouldn't if, say if, popped if off, TikTok. but we 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 figured it out. We weren't we weren't boomers anymore. We at least know how it works now. Um, yeah, and then I'm, like, putting out stuff every other day now on TikTok, so it's, like, at least that's going, so that was, was a huge deal, and I dug, 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 dug it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. similar. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yo, I, I was gonna go. If you have trust your co-host, I can fucking <laughs> carry a conversation, prick. Um, <laughs> so... so for, 
for me, similarly, is like, yeah, it was a lot of growth, man. Um, I really feel like the past few years, if you've been listening this long, we've been practicing and practicing and practicing, and I finally feel like we're good at this shit, Raza. So I'm very excited for all the puzzle pieces to, like, stick together. We've done all the years of, like, okay, let's do this and do that and learn these skills, and it's all there now, and it's only going to get better. So if anything... The highlights for me was, like, trying all the new shit. We tried to do a subathon. It was kind of weird, but I, I like trying it. Doing the Christmas video was awesome. I thought the Video Game Awards turned out great. Like, we did a great job collaborating. That showed us we could do that. So, without going to Inside Baseball, I my highlights for the year was trying all the new stuff and, and seeing how, like, perfected everything is. I moved into a new studio. It's all crisp. You got a new mic. Look at this shit. We're editing bigger shit now. We could do full essays. I'm I'm pretty happy with that highlight. Yeah, it's all, it is kind of like terrifying how much we have abandoned our original mission statement and done something completely different. Because we're over the last, I think, when we started this, 2019 and 2023 yeah. now, we have changed everything. Nothing is the same anymore. Um, so, so first, first for the storytelling for the audience for the storytelling. What, what I was going to do that. The original. Okay, all right. What was the original <laughs> one then? What's the original mission statement? The, the original mission statement was to like do like video essays, particularly video essays. While they're still there, we've completely overhauled that sort of format to be a little more dynamic. Because we're not as stiff, stiff as what we we were, as what you we used to be. But then we have we, the one thing that has kind of stayed the same is our, ironically our gaming stuff. That's it. Uh, that's, uh, that's the thing. We we're like let's do games mostly, or not mostly also. And then we did that. And then it's just like over time we sort of like we literally changed a lot of our. Our, the flow of things in our in our content. So it's now we have we initially tried to do the 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 weekly news ro- roundups, yeah, and then we shortened them up into shorts, and then we just said let's fuck it, let's put it in a in a podcast. That's a that was a trial and error thing that I'm glad we did because it sh- it goes to sh- it, it's we need to do those things in order for for us to figure out what works and what doesn't. Yep. And then yep. we sort of like changed how we're going to do the podcast. Instead of doing it every Monday, we're doing it every other one Monday. Then we changed our Friday night streams to what we do. I got more expansive with my uh, uh, set, set, set up so that mm-hmm. afforded us more shit to to, to to do um just ultimately it's just we the the if anything are the things we have set in place are sort of there but we have taken them out and like reinforced them the, the foundation with things that are working so yeah our, our social media game is sort of catching traction that's a pillar of ours our video essays, uh, how we're doing them now is, is, another, is another pillar. And then our content, our variety is a third pillar. Yeah, yeah. I so should that's... be a fucking interviewer, okay? You should ask me more questions. <laughs> it leads well into the next point, which I'll start off with, is like, I think all of that happened because the changes we had to adjust to was the domination of like short form content, TikTok, and live streaming. We wanted to be a 2019-2018 era video essay YouTuber, and we're coming in on the dying end of that track. So yeah. we quickly adjusted, and that's why we still do this podcast, even if we only got the few of you, few of you awesome listeners. Thank you. We see you. There's consistent base, and we appreciate you guys. But it's something that we wanted to make sure that we're still doing what we want, even as we're changing. So that's why we bring a little bit of news here. And hopefully, as this gets off the ground, as we can afford to put more time into this, then we'll start switching back to the original mission statement, sharing more informational content as well. But 
that stuff takes a lot of work to do when you're broke. Yeah, and also a lot of time. I didn't re- realize how much time it did take because I, I thought it was going to be like a few videos here or here and there. Let's just keep, let's just do stuff. But then you realize those few videos just take time. They take a lot of time to to, to do. And then we, we we sort of have like a revolving door of people that are coming through. So it, it also gives up, gives us... Um, like influences that we wouldn't have, have thought up on on our own. So we're able to draw from those things more often because we we have a a, a diverse a diverse um what you call it crew and audience. Crew, I I know a diverse sort of like uh. Atmosphere, atmosphere, yes. because we're, we're able to 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 get things f- from people from all over the place. Yeah, and I find that very interesting because yeah. it's 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 what I think we're closer to is we're trying to set up a place that you can expect all types of content. We're stepping in as a pair of creators, kind of doing the whole spread rather than just focusing on one thing and in a way watching how all the creators are having to adjust. Even the YouTubers now are having to stream. All the big YouTubers have to switch all their game plans and we're already steps ahead of this prepared for the future that came rather than putting all our chips in on being like YouTube video essays and oh wow, fuck. Now we got to learn a new thing. It's like, okay, we started from square one. Let's learn all this bullshit. All right, now we're ready. We're we're able to learn because we're an interesting. I don't know. I don't know if if it's if it's like something that we're doing right or wrong. That's up to interpretation. But like, I think we're we're at the time period where the internet is changing again, and we're changing with it. So what comes out of that is how good we are at adapting to these new things. So whenever the the internet goes back into its quiet time where things are just normal for a little bit, I think at that point we'll we'll, we'll be able to Mm -hmm. navigate the landscape a lot better because we have the tools to do it Mm -hmm. and, and, and the experience to do the thing because literally as we started, things were changing. Right? Mm-hmm. The transition was happening, or is happening. It's just how we have come up from from, from, from the age of uh, uh, like how Facebook and MySpace were dominating. That's our thing too. So we're, we're able to use these tools, hopefully, to make our uh, brand like much more. Uh, well, yeah, ex- and I would say accessible. We have an adaptable palette of skills. Um, so, like something, an example I think about often is you look at the boom in Twitch streamers, right? They're not particularly well versed in all the other necessary skills the marketing, the graphic design, the video editing. So, yeah. if you take that route and you sync 60 hours a week into streaming, you can build a great community, but when it comes down to translating that to something else, if you haven't built the right team around you, you critically at that basis don't have the skills to be able to develop any further content outside of that platform that you blew up on. Yeah, yeah, and that's what what I, like, I feel like we are... we're still at the stage where we could fall into that trap because we're still sort of we're we're not we haven't really found our sort of voice or sort of like like our style just yet we're still in the experimenting phases but we are, we do know what we're doing, but we just need to do more experimenting because we have oh, shit. Yeah. We need to just get more 
out of it and then we, we'll be able to, to cement ourselves more. But I still think we have a chance of falling down that path because mm-hmm. you and I get comfortable very easily with one way, right? We, mm-hmm. we, 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 we sort of see Twitch and it wasn't until Afro pointed it out to us that we have to do it a certain way where we were like doing it in doing it doing it like streaming in a certain way but then uh, i think the like a whole bunch of conversations happened where you were like let's do it like how both of us are on screen at once and then we have both gameplays right that was a conversation that brought that made us more like different and not a lot mm-hmm. of people are, are are doing that so it just Yes, we do have that sort of chance of going down that road, but we have people in our literal entourage, in our little posse, that will beat us over over, over the head with a stick if we do that. And so mm-hmm. that that fear of letting them <laughs> down is like yeah, I'm, I know trying I- to make it like because like it's all almost just like there's a fire under you. Right, yeah. and you and if you screw up, you're gonna burn. So we sort of have to like. I know it sounds harsh, but that's how I keep <laughs> myself sort of like. I can't disappoint these people. I gotta do it. I I gotta make sure I do it this way. But I do it healthily. I, so I do that's it a big. In, I want to um, continue that discussion. I want to stay on that point. That's like I have a big shift in that recently because I was feeling that, and I have to remember that we're also doing it for the art of it, and that's really made me more calm, and feel excited to return to the script to get ready for the show. Because otherwise, I felt like I was doing it out of obligation, and now it feels more fulfilling again. Yeah, I'm, I mean, I'm not looking at it out of, out of like in the sense of obligation. It's just responsibilities because you sort of have to touché. like, like being it. You shut the fuck up. Stop saying touche. Stop giving me points. All right, <laughs> push back. <laughs> I'm kidding. Uh, it's just and that's a, another thing. Our our little d- 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 dynamic has has have, has grown too, which is it could be a good and bad thing, I guess. <laughs> For Bailey, it is a bad thing, and for me, it's a good thing because I can be a little harsher on screen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, just... I made him tone back the swearing and offensiveness, but he can just direct all of his anger at me instead. That was the deal we yeah. made. <laughs> like, if, if I can just take it out on you, that's that's a that's that's okay. But yeah, it's just it's just a. Uh, it's just these responsibilities that like I have like I'm doing this in I I'm doing this, but I have responsibility to keep myself more to not just about doing to myself, but but to a creative partner, to an audience, to people that they're like, I gotta keep my creative game going at, at all times, which is it sort of like energizes you to, you know, mm-hmm. be able to do those those things in a long term, it'll just come naturally because you're you're just like Oh, I have downtime. I'm just gonna go on premiere for a sec, and then that sec turns out to be like a whole night, just randomly do doing shit. So it's it's just like those are the things I do want to happen because it just makes us more more like like in sync with what we want to do with this project, mm-hmm. which is just to pump out. U- unique and creative content as much as we, we can. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and and provide a a true variety experience is what I see it as, which I think is very fun and interesting from the start because then you've got people coming for a variety of reasons, and if they want to engage deeper, they can. If they want to watch our highlights on the Shorts channel, they can, and then if they want to come here and hang out with us, they can as well. Now we need to get a little bit focused on that funnel or how to do that but i mean i i really like providing that because that's what i think the direction is going because everyone's going everywhere if we could be not necessarily a one-stop shop but we can oh you like to see fiddling with stuff oh you also like video games oh you want to hear our opinion on justin roiland the the right you're getting you can get it all it's all right here yeah 
Yeah, we're like the gas station of news. <laughs> That's a I just one personally, thing. personally, because what I think, you want my, can I go off on a communications Bailey tangent? Sure. I think I just, yeah, go ahead. I threw out two rants, but go. The yeah. super gas station. Yeah, so you went on a rant. So then this is mine, mine, because I truly, as a communications professional, I think this is the direction that becoming an influencer is going to go. I think... No matter what, you can develop a following as a Twitch streamer. You could develop a following as a TikToker. And there'll be different ones that can be more successful quicker than others. But I truly think at the end of the day, in five to ten years from now, to be successful as an influencer, you have to be able to do the whole fucking package. You will not be able to just be a TikTok star because all the brands will get savvy to this. TikTok will adjust its algorithm. Facebook will account for your, your thirst trapping. They'll be the, the, the advertisers and the people with the money will adjust. So at the end of the day, you'll need to have the skills to run your influencer brand like a legit, legitimate media organization. So mm-hmm. I, I, I truly think that's where things are headed. And that's my, my grandstand of comms things. But that's also why I'm happy we're going the direction we're going. Because I, I, I truly think things will start yeah. to die out. They'll start to go to the biggest Twitch streamer and be like, wow. Where's your YouTube following? Because Jeff Bezos ain't giving us enough money. Yeah. It's just, it's just because like, uh, if we like pigeon hold ourselves into one sort of box, our chances of like getting tired of this and fa- like failing this goes up higher because we'll, we'll, we are in one one sort of like like group but like yeah it's just like it, even if one of our ideas doesn't work we have 20 more things already on on the exactly and shit so it's like it's it's a little bit more hard hard work or it's actually a lot more hard work because like well we are cha- <laughs> we're literally going from like podcasting to video games to, to essays are like it's like going from, from like 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 Mexican food to to like Chinese Chinese food. You're like jumping all over the place. It's, it's like two 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 extremes. But like that's what's the fun part about it because you're you're able to to sort of like blend these worlds together and then make them like. Uh, more make it like so every you like bridging all demographics to be on one thing so like right. people who don't watch the gaming stuff can watch our podcast but then they'll be like let's watch let's see so, something else they do and then maybe they'll be turned on to to our our, our, our streams our gaming streams and they could exactly. be like now i like game get gaming streams that's what i'm thinking that's what yeah. I'm thinking, and I, I appreciate that. And I, I agree with the, the, the comment that we got, that at least gaming is fun too, right? So we're making sure that we're keeping that core thing, keeping it fun, keeping it's yeah. still an art, bro. That's the biggest thing we're going to tell you as the audience is that we want to make sure that this is still something that we're creating what we want to do. That I, that's one of the things that bugs me is like, bro, it's like if we could – I could drop everything right now and we could become a tech review channel and make money, but we would hate ourselves. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, Mm -hmm. like I know how to do that. I know the game. I could pick the things we could do it, but I would want to just why and why, why I may as well go work a job. Yeah. Yeah. At that point it does become a job. Like I don't mean, I don't mind this becoming a job because then that's like a dub for me. Right. It's like, I'm, going to do something i'm going to a job that i like right i'm not doing the same mon- i i'm not doing the same sort of i won't throw any minimum wage people on on under the bus here but like i'm i'm not going to do the same thing over and over again because it's always different and it's always soft stuff there's, there's uh, something like new and and like uh <laughs> new and and more 
more interesting and the, what we're doing. And, and that's, what's always like what I'm looking forward to. Like for this movie podcast, it's an ever changing industry. So that we're always going to be looking forward to something, something new, even the gaming, there's new games coming out all, all the time, right? There's new ping pong tables every day. So we need to, uh, do, uh, do, uh, all that, all that shit. Yeah. Yeah, no, I agree. Yeah. So then, so since we both rambled about the future and we've laid it out well for everyone, Raza, Raza, what's the new yeah. year holding for us? New year, just I don't know. We're getting more aggressive well, with our 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 content ideas. We're not going to be half-assing them anymore. Really, put a little little the little positive affirmation message in in the in in our private. Discord is going to be pumping out one short a day, so that's going yeah. to be that's going to be interesting. Interesting, buddy. Get on my live level. Yo, I'm I'll see if they get posted parts. every day, but I'm gonna edit one every day. The post. I'm doing seven hour. shorts a day. Get on my level, level, <laughs> level, 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 buddy, old pal. No, just like, and that's going to be good for us because, like, then I don't, I, I know for a fact every day something is coming out. We're just going to be, we're, we're just, right now, we're still figuring out who we are still. I know that's kind of cliche to say, but like at the same time, we're going to be put, putting out a lot of content that seems I to be I feel close working. to it. I feel close yeah. to it. I think it's just about hitting the workflow that works for us because I think we got our personalities laid out. I think we've got content here. It's just a matter of plug in the right plugs in the right places. And that kind of yeah. happens organically in many ways. Yeah. Um, that, just, like it just, uh, the, it uh, does all of our, our best stuff does have happen or, or organically. This is why I'm not like super pressured in, into most of, most of this, like 95% I'm not pressured into, but like the other 5% I have to be, I have to commit. Right, you can't just. Well, that's I hate that. for the audio listeners. We're talking about the shorts, right? So if you're like a gaming or a YouTuber, you see, like you might watch TikToks on your own if you're not in our sector of that community. But what it's good for ableism and the, the visual, like people who need that, the the hearing disabled. But all the gaming videos have big captions. You have to you have to manually edit mm -hmm. in everything that you say. To every single one minute long video. So every one minute long video, you got to put in at least 20 to 30 minutes of just putting words on the fucking screen. That and minute long video takes about an hour to make, by the way, just because you got to time it's so everything. Hard. It's not hard to do. It's just the most tedious <laughs> task ever, ever. Adobe, if you're watching us, I don't know if, if there's any people from Adobe team, can you make those subtitles Putting them in just easier to do where we don't know. And, and get your AI thing working. Billy's name is not Billy. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. There you go. That's yeah. Bailey's name isn't B Billy or Barley. And or it, Barley, it has no yeah. idea. It gives me random words for Raza half the time. Yeah. But like, and that's like, what was I, I, I going to say? It just our. Our our TikTok thing, or shorts thing, is like the one that like I'm, I'm, I want to. That's what. Okay, no, no, that's what I want to say. In this year, I'm will be getting more and more organized with how we do we do these things because I have to. For us, I'm I'm gonna put when we do shorts, for example, we're gonna have it more u uniformed. So our yeah, there's going to be in Inception drops, big horns, lots of lights, no, no, I, lens I'm, flares. I think <laughs> the, uh, the template, the format will, will be up yeah, to yeah. yours, but the template will be the same. So, like, I just re realized purple, when Bailey's talking for his captions works, green works with mine, and then blue f for a third speaker. And then I, I can just branch off of that. So that's what I want to do for us to be like, let's just be a little more serious with this. And mm -hmm. like, let's make it all one sort of thing. And then I got to teach Bailey how to make the things pop. The little 
pops. The just words show pop. me. Well, go on. We'll go. Show me your screen later, and just show me your effects panel. I get it. I'm just lazy. I'm it's not effects. It's I hate keyframes. doing it. It's the keyframes, but you go to the effect controls to do it. No. Yes. No, I don't. Yes. I just press one twenty. I do a hundred. Press like uh, enter. Hit, hit for a keyframe. Go forward five frames. Type in one twenty, and then you don't go, go into forward. the. You don't go into. The, you just do it all yeah. numbers based. That's how all the videos have showed have 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 showed me. You're a maniac, bro. I do it. Maybe that's why I'm. I can't. My brain doesn't work math wise. I have to draw it out. Okay, this is inside. It's literally video. showing you. It gets bigger. You got to count one, and then you press Alt or Control. I, I. This is the thing I, I, I taught Bailey how to do. Control click takes the actual frame with all yeah. the edits and then brings it over, and then that, that's where it's unique, and then that's where it gets easier. Then you just got to type out, out the words. <laughs> This man's a madman. Okay, so, Raza, speaking of all these wonderful tales that you have for us, this is your last point for our year review. Do you have any new projects, secret projects, or are we going in a new direction that you want to tell anybody? I mean, I got to stop saying I mean a lot. I was, I was, I was thinking about that. But uh, it's like we are going in 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 in, in, a, in a new direction but that means we're growing and i don't think we're going to stop growing cuz we're always going to be like doing new things and that's what's the fun best part about these things because i don't want to stay the same for more than 3 months i need to i need to add shit or take away shit every 3 months bailey so be prepared for or Whatever, it makes me feel you. less stressed about the fact that okay. I'm always pitching the same thing. <laughs> I don't know, maybe we should cancel this. I don't know, I don't like this anymore. There's always every three months I'm doing the same thing. <laughs> like, I don't want to... This seems dumb now. I don't want to... I don't want to do this. <laughs> well, oh man, because for those who have stuck around, we we're doing like the news roundups, and we really liked it. It was fun to do, but it's like we're being old. This is why we're doing so much work, and nobody gives a shit because no one's yeah. watching a shit for the news. Those videos would take so long to make. They're like, oh, cool, two views. Let's get it. <laughs> Let's get it. Right, and then. That's like some therapy shit. If we're giving advice to any other creators out there, you really have to be able to step back and be like, okay, yeah. no, this is just not the thing to be making right now. <laughs> and that's the other thing that I personally changed. I personally, because I remember like at in like the last half of like 2022, I was just like, every Friday stream, I'm going to cut it up and make a long format video. And then realized. We're not that funny for anything longer <laughs> than a minute. <laughs> so maybe why don't I ju 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 just do like, t uh, I just cut up TikTok, like minute long shorts from each, uh, from Done. all of our Friday night streams that we do. And that's, I was just like, that's why do we, why Reza, why weren't you doing this in the beginning? Because it's so easy to do. You, you don't have to look for four clips, just pick out one. Uh, put it in a new template or put it in uh, but yeah so like it it, it it had the real video playing here and then a blurry one here I realized after a while that was kind of outplayed so then I just started to be like let's 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 spice it up a little bit more and then I started to see a whole bunch of TikTok videos do something different, and I copied that format, and that's been working. If you go on our TikToks, it actually works now. I, I have no complaints. I see Bailey bro. has been has has been like seeing it work, and then watches a uh, watches a uh, <laughs> watches a uh, his TikToks because the kid is growing. You should see his TikTok game now. It's becoming slowly onto my level level yeah we're seeing we see, need to educate him on how to i just really like our personal pop. talks i'm okay with it i'm not like an old man anti-tiktok i get why people like it i just genuinely 
I enjoy this. I enjoy the streaming, but like editing TikToks, it's like that's work for me. So that's that's the part where I'm like, okay, this is I gotta sit down and do work because I, oh, I just don't enjoy it. I still like watching YouTube videos. I'll watch streamers too. I just don't like. I just it's just not it's not baby. Uh, so I know how it works. I can do it. I just it's just not fun. I don't. It's not fun. <laughs> Yeah, I mean that's 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 that's, that's literally the uh, it's, it's it's the name of the game, and the fun part comes after. So you 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 got to do all this. this exactly, uh, exactly. There's this, some sacrifices, uh, yeah. and if my sacrifice, and that's where I get all like grateful and humbled, bro. Because if my sacrifice to work is sitting down and making a TikTok, it ain't that bad. It ain't, it ain't that bad. I used to have to clean toilets, dog. I, I, I used to have to clean up cockroaches. I, all right, I'll sit down and put some captions on a fucking video. Yeah. My <laughs> my trick is to, like, the sh- like, I just try to go for, like, the ones were marginally f- f- funny, and they tend to be short videos, so, like, 27 seconds long and yeah i just it becomes like i can just pump these out but like i feel like the more we do it the, the faster it becomes for us but you know it's just oh my god it's just uh it's just uh something that you know i don't mind doing but yeah it's like tedious as heck yeah i agree yeah. but inside baseball so either way the fuck's inside baseball? That we weren't talking too much about the editing process. Some people like that. Some people are like, "Oh, where's where's the content, bro? We don't we don't care about your feelings, Raza." <laughs> <laughs> you can make the the content. I can be the editing the editor. But how much would you like it, guys? If Bailey was the, 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 the face of our whole thing here and then i'm just a guy in the background i what is that what you want that would be weird i don't I, think that would work th- out i would propose that I'd be like yo i just want to edit all right this is your whatever. fault dude this is your fault you should have been you like, want me to be that? the f- <laughs> so i just record all the content you're gonna have me just recording for hours and you just edit all the videos <laughs> all right i'll be the little camera monkey for you well you write the and scripts. then uh, i'll be kai Sanat and you be my manager <laughs> that landed um what was I gonna say uh bl- blame bailey for getting me back on on the editing train just blame him for uh, for that so it's an art now i'm voice. literally making movie trailers because of him um so and then also because of him uh, uh, B- Bailey, I mean, not Bailey, our content is, be- is going to become more c- cinematic. You're going to hear like a lot of more bell sounds, <laughs> a lot more, a lot more of, of those, of the giant dong sounds and, 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 and shit. Dun, dun. Dun, dun. All jokes aside, it's, uh. I don't, editing is fun. It's making me, like, not want to blow my brains out. <laughs> Good. I like to hear that. The written work you- can be draining, especially in the modern era when you are severely underpaid for the amount of talent that you put into the work. With- yeah, and I haven't got paid yet. <gasps> they know. They know. Ross. They know. They know. They They're know. talking shit about us. They know. Okay, okay, oh speaking of editing, speaking of editing, oh we'll, 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 be, we'll be right back, we'll be right back, we'll be right back. I had Bailey here again. I just wanted to drop in with a reminder of how much we appreciate you. We've gone through some changes over time. We know we've got some core audience. we got a couple of you that have been sticking around for a minute, and I know you've bared with the changes. Some of you like it, some of you don't. The most important thing, we value your opinion. So don't be afraid to reach out and be like, hey, man, really like that episode. Da, da, da. You know, drop the comments, drop the likes, drop the subscribes. You know how this algorithm works. We'll be seeing you there soon, kid. Thank you for all the time. Sincerely. We'll be. Bye.
Wait. Do you, do, you, do you just picture me? You think I'm freaking out too much? Our mics are back. You think I'm freaking out too much when I do the ads? Is that what you're saying? Yeah, you're just like... I know, I get like, this thing where I look at the camera and my eyes go really wide and I'm not really stressed out. I don't feel like I'm doing that. And I look at the footage and I'm just like, my eyebrows are up here. It's crazy. No way, dude. You know what else is crazy? What happened to Rick and Morty this weekend? Homie uh, did some... You, you 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 know those things you put in in remote in remotes and other appliances and other things that r r require batteries. You know, batteries. <laughs> uh, the other definition was used for a, a famous content, cre not a content creator, a, a a famous TV guy. I, I like it. I like it. I like it. Good <laughs> okay. singer. Good singer. Good. Yeah, that's yeah. that's wordplay. Trigger warning, too. Speaking of that, that was a wordy pun. Trigger warning. I'm speaking of that. that. <laughs> <laughs> no, no clip that making me fucking look like a dick. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> You're supposed to do it before, but you caught it. It was too good. You caught me off guard. Okay. Yeah. Tell us about it. Tell Balls us about it. Man. Tell so us about what the Energizer know, Bunny did. Yeah. Yeah. That, that's a good one, one too. It's sad that for this topic, we're really good at some z z zingers, man. <laughs> <laughs> sad about that. We're really good at it. Okay, so for for this topic, for this for our news of, of over here, Rick and Morty guy, the co-creator of, of of Rick and Morty, J Justin Rowland, and the co-creator of Solar. Opposites, Opposite. Justin Roland, and also Eve, Elon Musk's best friend, Just Roland. Um, he actually is Elon Musk's best friend. He's also a libertarian, which explains a lot about the this, this story. Um, so he's facing felony charges for two separate things. Uh, the first felony charge is is for a woman who he, you know. Uh, got into Mortal Kombat. <laughs> what? <laughs> don't say you know. <laughs> they don't know. They don't know, Raza. They shouldn't know. It's not a good thing to know. <laughs> I'm really <pumped. laughs> uh, He said <laughs> he, he be, be, because of that he 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 was arrested back in uh, August of twenty. Money and was let let go of a fifty thousand dollar bond, which is quite a lot of money. Um, there's also allegations of him and predatory nature, specifically targeting, you know, not you know, it's a bad thing as well, <laughs> but <laughs> minors. <laughs> if I'm allowed to say that. Thank you for catching that. Thank you for catching that extra, you know. <laughs> Am I allowed to uh, say, say that? No, no disrespect to the topic. I, we're laughing at Ross's <laughs> grammatical errors here. Let's be very clerical. It's very clerical here. All right, continue, continue. Uh, so he had some incidents, uh, allegations on that. Many people have come forward about those allegations. And uh, he is, he is, he is, uh, he's, uh, for all of his, his, his stuff that he did, he's facing a felony charge, which he's going to face in April, I think of this year. So it's going to be inter interesting how that turn, turn, t turns out. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. uh, Rick. Rick, they come and get me, Rick. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> you got it backwards, dog. You got it backwards. Come on, you do the right. You're doing the Rick voice, talking to Rick. I guess it's interdimensional, blah blah blah. So whatever. You got a you got a scapegoat card I'm in this a, situation. I I only watch Solar Op Opposites. Solar That's Opposites my... is pretty good. I've been a fan for him for, for a while, and I I mm. will say, are we in the talking part? Sorry, man. No, or not. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So now 
with this whole thing, Bailey? His sh are his shows tainted? Uh, tainted. Are his shows tainted for, for you? Or will you do what I do with, with Tom Cruise and se separate Scientology from acting? But in this case, it's Energizer Bunny and Rick and Morty. Wait leads into the comment that I was making uh, it does kind of taint it for me because I was already a little suspicious of his emotional behaviors like I used to listen to a lot of his content he's very possessive he's very uh, anxiety driven he's very fucking worried about everything so it was like I was like there's something there's a hint of creepy going on here he's obsessed with Legos there's something something weird so as it came out, I'm like kind of very on board with accepting it. And it doesn't seem like he's immediately making a statement to uh, acknowledge his wrongdoings or or he's in jail. create any sort of accountability. Mm -hmm. Has he made a statement? Because that's where I will accept that I haven't followed the story uh, enough if he's made any I, sort of statement. His lawyer degree. made a statement, I'm pretty sure. But that's basically it. Just not, not, not him. But there has been a history, so I, I, I don't know. Are these allegations so, things that, that should be looked into deeper just to confirm? Because in some cases, they can ruin people's lives. Yeah. Can be unfounded. Not to say that they aren't or not, but like, what? Yeah, I, I, like, to be specific, yeah, we're never, we're never constituting victim blaming, but... I think at the same time, yes, I think as we're entering the modern era and we're promoting accountability, then we need to make sure that we pursue these things so that all sides can get equal amount of footing and details. Yes. Yeah. Is um, there any connection between this and Rick and Morty into the show and, and how, how, how he writes and how his life is? Does that sort of like, is this like, I think so. Oh, now uh, this makes sense of why he's doing it like this. Is it has that? that I don't think so, it? but I think it's one of those ones where you can point at a artist or creative, someone like Kanye, and look at them and be like, "Oh, I see how, say, this bipolar mannerisms could have influenced your art." So I think in the same way as you're looking at the way that he played multiple characters that all lash out about their emotions in very specific and different ways the same mm -hmm. type of negative scenario can occur that he's clearly got his emotions and his parts of his personalities in boxes. So one mm -hmm. of them's a nice partner and a creative and who knows what scary, who knows what scary devil is in the other one on the other side of the shelf. You know what I mean? Right. 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 So I'm not yeah. too surprised by that. Um, and then lastly, are you still going to watch the show? Are you going to be like, Rick and Morty, Rick and Morty, Rick and Morty, battery, Rick and Morty, Rick and Morty, Rick and Morty. Is that, is that going to be in your head when you watch the show? Is it going to be like, you see it diff differently now? Yeah, it does taint it a little bit. I have been damaged since the Kanye incidents of our present because he was my idol and I was like always trying to go back and forth a bit and then several years ago after the Trumpian stuff I was like no mas and then now it's proven right that it was a good decision so it's like kind of I'm 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 not stoked anymore on forgiving people for abusive things just because they make good art you know what I mean? Yeah. Remember to never meet your heroes. Because exactly. they'll always end up. Yeah. That's why my hero is my dad. <laughs> so never meet him. That sounds good. So okay. never meet your own dad. <laughs> Bailey can relate. He hates meeting his dad. Um, <laughs> I think, no, but I think you bring up a very valid point, and I think that's the victim of the modern era. Like, as we brought up the Andrew Callahan shit, if, if you know who that is, uh, a young journalist online also got called out recently. I won't go into that story, but it's interesting to see because I think there's just so much transparency and accountability that if you're not able to, to be accountable for your actions immediately, it's you, there's no way to hide anymore. 
there's no way to hide anymore. So if your if your creator did X, Y, or Z, and you're trying to justify it, is it, the truth will eventually come out. So maybe it's one of those like maybe you shouldn't be faulted for still supporting someone that you think is creatively intelligent, but at the same time, I think the cards will uh, play the same hand at the end of the day. Yeah, yeah, I agree. But if it's for a purpose, then. Let, 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 let's go. So it doesn't, yeah. No. It's, you should always look for people to look up to that are worthy. In, in my case, it's Tom Cruise. So I, I know that like, he's never done anything wrong in his life. Yeah, no, um, he doesn't belong to a cult. He doesn't have free labor. He no, none no. Of that. So it's just like I, people in 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 the entertainment in the industry, you shouldn't really idolize them. Shouldn't really, really. You should. You should definitely like obviously be fans of their work, fans of what they do, but don't, you know, mm. strive to be like he's my template or this person is a template of what I need to be. How about you idolize with a, caution? How about idolize with caution? If you need idolize at all, that, that's like... So when did you become Moses? So, I, so who do you feel that is a, a adequately fit to be idolized? Oh, Allah. The one in, one in, 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 in only in our prophet, um, Muhammad Rasulullah, peace be upon him. Again... People who, you know, who have done things, right? That's called a checkmark or, or checkmate, Bailey. I, I got you on that one. So uh, don't idolize. Just go into a religion. That's my thing. Just go straight into organized religion and then you'll find proper moral support. It's me, Mario. Speaking of Mario, <laughs> <laughs> that's so offensive too. <laughs> really, so, you said all the Italians are 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 are, are plumbers. No, no, Automatic no. Cancellation. No, no. no. Uh, Mario was known for stealing coins and sometimes enforcing people to do his will by jumping on top of them. In several games, he has a hammer and does threaten them with it. So yeah, he does. Specifically, Lu Lu Luigi. Specifically, him. Yeah, he'll suck you up real hard if you don't listen, bro. Damn it! Now I don't want to. I want him to suck me up dry. <laughs> the little, little little Italian man to do that. Okay, my news. The Italy. Not without getting your dick sucked by Mario, is it? <laughs> Italy. Um, arrested one of the their famous mob bosses this week. Actually, today, as of this recording. So what I'm saying right now is you've got to look out for this Netflix show because you already know that's going to happen. They're going to create some sort of documentary about at least, if not the trial, about the investigation to catch him. So Costa, Costa Nostra family boss Matteo Messina Denaro was arrested after 30 years on the run. He, he was on the run for a slew of literal political hits. So the two court prosecutors that were tasked on chasing down the mob in Italy, Giovanni Falcone and Paolo... Oh my God, I'm not going to say that. I will He's got put a it Batman villain in the, in the story? Let's fucking go. Yeah. So this guy literally blew up the prosecutors that were going after the mob in Italy. And this was in 1992. So he's been wanted for 30 years now. There's a lot of politics involved, but this was a strong move by the recently elected uh, Georgia Maloney. Oh my God, I can't do Italian names. Georgia Maloney off of her recent election in just October she's of a, 2022. Okay, she's a what? No, give me context. What? What? Tell me about Georgia, right? Quick. She's. I. I do believe George. I either she is a distant relative, or she has praised Mussolini. <laughs> I thought so, because I remember yeah. hearing this as well. So that's yeah. her strong arm tactic coming in was, the, look, I'm going to get rid of the mob. 
that so this was her first big move that she promised coming into office and she's followed also, through with it. She's a fascist. Oh yeah, I just farted. That's also the important tip I wanted to bring here. So thank you, Rosa. So other than that political fact that you should be aware of, that it's great that a mob boss is gone, but please understand why this may have occurred. I want to tell you to keep an eye out because you damn well know they're also going to monetize it and there's a new Narcos Italy season coming out soon, I guarantee it. Oh, is there? No, I'm just making this shit up, but someone's oh. going to make it. It's going to happen. They make the... How many fucking Tiger King shows came out Immediately two. after the docu series, too too many, too too many. Oh. I say there was the, the sequel too that came out last year. <laughs> <laughs> so it is internationally interesting, as we all know. La Familia can be up to like some shysty things and uh, what power shifts look like, especially in the modern era when we're talking proxy wars and who knows what the CIA is doing. Do you think this man may be able to? Old Chapo his way out of this one. Do you think he's gonna somehow skid his way out? Do you think you can How keep much influ- a mob boss of this many years in jail? Oh, goo. Uh how how much uh influence does this guy have in the Italy Italian? According countries? to all of the articles that I read, he is like the head of the Sicily family. Like the OG ones in Sicily, he's the boss still. So is he like is he does he have leverage in the politics of Italy? Most so likely. That's so if he does, he can obviously be like, hey, I'm gonna make you an offer you can't refuse. Get me out of jail. You come, okay? <clears throat> Why am I doing Marlon Brando's voice? That's the only Italian um reference that's not racist uh, that I have. Um so that's fair. Um, I, I, if not, I think it's a good fellas, and he gets his way into a good prison. I think I I think he that could happen. He could be like that um, Robert De Niro mo- movie that just came out with, with Al Pacino. He could probably be like a wine in his jail cell. Um, uh, so, but if he has like political influence, and if he has some sort of like sway leverage. I don't think he could. Be, I don't think he, he he'll be in jail for that that long. I think he will be in jail because of what you mentioned before, because of the fascist person that may be taking lead of the country. That it's yeah. be a strong arm implication. However, that's I, they'll probably there's no way he'll be treated like shit. He'll be put in some fancy thing. So I I, I, be think, a I think he stays prison. in prison because she's got a. It's it's her card. So maybe who knows? A few prime ministers later, maybe he'll get let out. But could there be like hey, could he like say hey, let's good fellas, let's do what we did to Joe Pesci in Good Fellas, right? Could they yeah. just pull that? Right? Yeah, that's a, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay. Or or yeah. Donnie so, Brasco him. You got a Donnie Brasco. Oh, Donnie Brasco him. Spoiler alert to anybody who hasn't seen one of the few good Johnny Depp move, movies. Uh, yeah, I know. Movie. People, if you yeah. if you like Johnny Depp, you got to watch Donnie, ba- Donnie Basco. That's when he was actually good. Donnie Basco. Don, uh, Donnie ba- ba- Donnie <laughs> Tabasco. He puts hot sauce on everything. Tabasco sauce on everything. So, and and um, it's also Al Pacino is one of his uh, f- f- finer roles, too. Yeah, that was while he was still young. I'm pr- I'm sure there's probably other better Al Pacino you watch roles, Heat. but he still had energy. He could still act back then. Watch Heat. 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 I've heat never two. actually seen Heat. I am aware of Heat, but I've never actually seen it. In August of last year. Michael Mann. Oh, actually, I, I might have seen Heat back in the day, and I was just too it's young. It's so for it. good. It's so good. It's like, oh, God. No. <laughs> So that, Raza, that scene, that scene, that shooting scene, that, that that shooting scene where they're in the street and they're doing urban warfare in the in the street, that has inspired many things. That's yes. Been, okay. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Then I have seen this movie. I saw it. Oh, Grand Theft Auto in high school. I saw it when I was in high it. school because of that. Yeah, it's, we should. That, that's a. That's a. I'm gonna. Uh, yeah. That's, I'll, I'm gonna. I'm gonna rewatch that. Um, so Raza, speaking of, uh, 
uh, atrocities against society. <laughs> Do you think that this move? The Italians, not society. Uh, that was my family's so country. They're literally the Caucasians that say "I Italians." Those "I Italians." Italians. It's like <laughs> you don't don't pronounce. No one pronounces "I" like that. <laughs> <laughs> You're like cousins. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, Fuck, it drives me up the wall. But so do you think Italy can actually even knock them down a peg, right? Like you sir, you took out the boss, but it's the boys. Like these are the boys. It's not just the like, boys. oh, we got one little guy. They're like saying, we got the big boy. There's no way. How they, they control garbage. When it comes to Italy, forget about all the North America shit and the blah, blah, blah. Like. Think about Italy specifically. They definitely have their hands in so many economic features. You're not going to make them just disappear overnight. Um, hmm. If I've seen any a mob move, move, movie, I know they're just going to appoint a fall guy because he still has to do like the whole like trial thing, and they can just pin it on one guy. So, but I think. Maybe not, because if you're in a crime family, you obviously have contingencies for this. So if he goes to, to jail, he's going to get a new, he's going to get his like brother-in-law to be the, the head yeah, guy. exactly. Right? And they probably so I, already I don't, know everything. He's been on the run yeah. for 30 years. Everyone already said, probably knows what's good. Talk about lazy police force, but, um, uh... Three. I've been al alive for as, as long as the cops have done nothing, which is funny. Um, so I think it's like, no, this isn't going to change much, and it's going to knock down a peg. Since isn't Italy sort of like the mob, and Italy like embedded with one another? Isn't that like a lot of Italy is just built on that? Am, or am I being just gen am I generalizing? I it's blame generalizing. It's generalizing a little bit, yes. But what it is is literally the Soprano stuff, especially That's in Sicily. What I'm saying. Yeah, it's yeah. like yeah. garbage distribution and construction companies and shit, and and like what you see in North America with the tow truck industry. So it's not necessarily that you piss them off and society collapses, but there can be a lot of governmental and financial inconveniences that begin to occur for the government. So for any of you guys who don't understand what Bailey's talking about, is I was like, yeah, if this guy goes to, to jail, he can just say, let's we'll because stop the picking mob, up the trash. Yeah, the mob <laughs> bosses are usually in uni in unions and they control a lot of that. So they could be like, oh, yes, yeah, stop picking up the trash stop uh mail services oh you want you your, your milk or do you want pizza can't get those things because or no i can but it's gonna be three hours longer oh yeah fifty dollars more <laughs> i was gonna say it's also gonna cost more right <laughs> oh you want that protection uh here's some Give us more money, right? So and then yeah, it gets I, down, yeah, really small stuff. Right? You could do tourism taxes to Sicily, blah blah blah. When you do small businesses, and then they're gonna not pay that. And when you say union, same thing then occurs because labor forces. Then you want to negotiate with the union to pass some legislature. All of a sudden, a certain labor union head doesn't want to fucking talk. I wonder why. Oh, so, uh, yeah. So I feel that like yeah, because their their tentacles aren't everything. It's going to be hard to knock them down a peg because there's always going to be somebody that they have invested into mm -hmm. that's going to listen to orders, right? So people – and then just because he's in jail doesn't mean – if you've watched any mob yeah. movie, any sort of like – jail means nothing to these guys. They're like, oh, I'm in jail. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna uh, look like listen to music, watch TV, make some bread over here, have my have my food d delivered to me. Probably really good food too. And then he's calling shots on on the av 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 outside. It's because you have invested. Because a lot of these mob bosses sort of invest in their their community. That's why people mm -hmm. are like dig them. You can 
<laughs> Panda th- <laughs> so we'll break the fourth wall. A commenter thinks we, we watch too many movies. And I, I'll i take that critique because I don't think it's as mystical as Raza thinks with, like, baking bread and TV, but no, you're getting food delivered. You're getting, you're getting are, a lot yeah. of special treatment. Yeah, there's a lot of, mm. you set it up because your boys are already there. Even if you don't own and, the and thing, you're not getting out. You'll still be able to who, get hooked up. Who's in, who's, who, who's in the warden or who has the warden in, in their pocket? Who has all of the security guards on a payroll? You think Bro, the government does? Okay, so yeah, the only I swear, okay, we're gonna get on a watch list for this one. <laughs> but oh, cause bro, shit. even related related to North <laughs> America, right? The prison industry is a private prison industry. Or, so it's run profit. by CEOs of companies. <sighs> These CEOs of companies also want places to put their money so that the government cannot tax it. Right? Mm-hmm. So guess mm-hmm. who the CEOs of these prison companies are going to go to to help that happen. The same thing happens in other nations, right? It's not necessarily like this big conspiracy like, oh, he's got the DA and then he's got his their secretary. No, it's usually quite simply like based on greed. You go to like, oh, I know the guy who owns all of the prisons in Italy and I made him my homie, right? That's, yeah. And then from there, <laughs> that's how you get your, your cachet to be implemented because the bus, you know, it's always, it's the same game, but it's a lot less movie-esque. It's literally, you got to think of it from a capitalism perspective. It's much more boring. You went to a dinner. I gave some guy a donation for his wife's painting and now he thinks I'm pretty cool. And, you know, next thing leads to another... I don't want to reveal yeah. all the tricks of the trade so that we get watched by the FBI. <laughs> it's like, it's like, yeah, just like it's it, it, unless it's like, like, like a part of like the high end police force that Italy has the one that's like their, their intelligent agency, which is, I don't think is touchable by the mob because they probably are a little bit more strict about who mm-hmm. they Ask to join them because they are a secret agency. I think, uh, unless it's part of that group, then maybe not. But if this is just what I assume a typical like bust, but then again, he he he's a prominent figure in Italy, so it it would make sense to bring yeah the big guns. Out. They say yeah, bring the big guns. So what the the two details is first. They said that they. Someone close to him and his family was hospitalized, and that's they watched the hospital, and that's how they were able to get him. And then they said that all the reports said that they're flying him to an unknown location, that they're not reporting where where he's going, because they're that worried that he's going to get broken out. That's like the Fast and Furious <laughs> shit. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's what I was thinking, <laughs> bro. That'd be crazy if there's some shit going on like that, some real movie shit. Then it's a real fucking movie. Tom Cruise is just like, I need to write a script about. No, not, not Tom Cruise. The Rock. I need to write a script about uh, yeah. about this um, immediately. Yeah, because you know Vince like, no. not smart enough to write the script. <laughs> it's just like <laughs> there are no cars in this. There's no Groot. family in this. <laughs> Groot. <laughs> Where my Coronas at, man? Why? Are, what's with this no barbecue cu- culture? Did you know I was triple X once? (laughs) Twice? (laughs) Did did you know that I only wear tank tops? It's not because I'm hard. It's because I literally do not know how to put on anything else. I'm just trying to distract you with my biceps. Okay. All right. We're going going to add. We're we're going to add. Movie editing magic applied. Bailey here, I wanted to come in with a quick reminder of all of the content we make here at Marching Into Madness. Me and Raza, on a weekly basis, put out one episode of our podcast on Mondays. Interchangeably, if we're not doing the podcast, we have our movie club. So we're switching that every two weeks. We do our essays on our main YouTube channel. We have shorts and reels coming out every single day, almost. And you can catch us playing video games together on Fridays, and finally, Bailey, every Tuesday, doing Antique Roadshow 2.0. 
you got a couple options. We're trying to bring you a true variety of content. So you want to tune in, stick around while we're in the growth phase. It'll pay off. We're going somewhere. Appreciate you. Say hi to Panda on the way back. Woo-doo. Welcome to see you again. Since we're back and we, we were taking a break, we don't have any submitted news. So well, I figured, I'll, Raza. I want to see Puss in Boots. The, the film, correct? Yeah, yeah. What do, yeah. We, what do you think? Well, I don't know. Maybe I need a more accurate description. Maybe you uh, need to get your mind out, out of the gutter. Not everything is a, is a sex thing, Bailey. I've seen the internet excited because Puss in Boots has a more cartoonish animation style rather than a realistic cat-like appearance. Yeah, that's what I think. And I also saw the fight sequences. They're pretty lit. Pretty lit cat fights? Yeah, with against dragons and shit. Okay, I wa- it's I've been better than Avatar domestically. I'm really <clears throat> not stoked. Really? No, you're kidding. I don't know. I just I, I I just be saying shit. Okay, that one. <laughs> <laughs> I was almost believing you for a second because that would be crazy. So I I'm just not for Shrek spinoff movies. You know what I mean? I'm not invested enough for a spinoff Shrek. Film. Yeah, but get invested. It's been what twenty years since be- 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 the. The first one and the second one? Yeah, but there's been a bajillion. How many one Shrek film? There's been like 12, tw- tw- 20 Shrek movies. There's Franchise been like two Wikipedia. Press and Boots. Okay, you're right. 2010, 2010. So it's been 10 years. It's been 10 yeah. years since Shrek Forever After. Yeah. And the last Press well, and Boots came out in 2011. Yeah. And they're like, we should go back in- into this. IP that people liked. I don't. I don't know if they liked it or not, but I liked enough to, to bring it back. Guillermo del Toro had his hands in this new Puss in Boots. Yeah, he he had his hands all over the Puss in Boots, and uh, in this case, he was that's just like, insane. "I need to get my hands." Yeah, that's why it's good. Yeah, because he made the he did the drafts. He did the he did Guillermo prepped the puss and what is happening with society that Guillermo is making boots. the puss and boots movie. <laughs> Everything Guillermo del Toro touches is turns into gold. He it's like he gave made, up a while ago. He's like, all right, fuck it, give me Shrek, give me Pinocchio, give, just whatever. I'm gonna make it good, good, bitch. I know have that's you, just it's good. I approve of it. He's a good artist. I just you, find it. Have you just, seen it? Th- no, I haven't. I haven't. It looks pretty Watch as it. fuck, though. He did his Guillermo shit to it. It's dark as fuck. I'm not surprised. I just, it's, it's like he, because he was being so artsy, and now he's just like, yeah, just get, I'll make it better. Don't, I'll make it's it It's during better. World War II, and it, it's just like <laughs> the kids have, have to, are being, <laughs> the kids are, are being, um, uh, uh, it's not the World War II or World War One, but no, no, it's World War Two, and, and the kids are, are being, uh, re- recruited to join Mussolini's army. And then Ron Perlman is one of the generals and they have like a paint off fight in this to train them. Of course he is. Of course he is. Yeah. So Raza, speaking and of Ewan movies, McGregor is a uh, Geppetto. So speaking of sexy you and McGregor, right. what, what are we doing on a biweekly basis? What do you want to tell our podcast audience that we're doing on a biweekly basis? What are we doing? A podcast? I thought we were, oh, a movie thing. We're doing a movie cast. On, a, a, yeah, a movie club. A digital movie, movie club. cast. A movie cast. A movie cast. Yeah, the whole, that whole afterlife thing in, in Pinocchio was really cool because every time he died, he would go to be sent to, to the... So sorry, we're, I'll go, let's go back. <laughs> <laughs> but every, every time he died, he went to this afterlife, but then the respawn time would take longer per death. So every time he would go, it would take longer. He would, she would turn an hourglass, and it would get bigger and bi- bigger and bigger and bigger. And then he was, he, he, he was just like, I want to be a real boy. And then, she, and then he said, if you become a real boy, and if you die... You you actually do die. There's none of this lobby here. So you, so the whole mo- 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 movie is about that, and it's it's a really sad movie. Actually, <laughs> kind of sad. I but, yeah, 
He made Pacific Rim though, the really good one. Well, I don't know why he he's in charge of the uh, g- g- Gundam wing. He should be. Ideally, that would yeah, be perfect with how dramatic and sad they all are. That would be ideal to get Guillermo to do that. But absolutely, you know, a contr- controlling those studios be so Raza, Raza. Yeah. What are we doing on a biweekly basis? <laughs> <Yeah>. So <laughs> don't chat for distract me. Yeah, help, help, boy, three. Me, no, I'm kidding. Um, uh, <laughs> we're doing a movie cast. Every other week now, when we decided to do this, it's good on top of, of our new me, new you ask a podcast that uh, we had. We have a new show, it's a movie cast. It's like we obviously it's in the fucking name we, we talk about movies, uh, but not just that, we also watch a movie, a, mo- a, mo- a movie, and then we have two weeks to just marinate in it. And then we come back and we discuss that uh, movie, or we just shit on it. I, either way, it's fun. I like it because it it gets Bailey to watch things that aren't anime. So it's like, and it's I very, like engaging with the art meaningfully, not just looking at things that aren't big anime boobies. I like, <laughs> I like the uh, meaningful time taken to sit there and like check out the cinematography as well as the storytelling. We're stuck here just streaming all the time. It's good to add the variety that's needed again. And what we want to do is that Roz is saying people are watching it is like, I yeah, we would tell you what movie we're doing every time. And if you watch beforehand or you tune into the episode and find out which movie we watch, you can pause that shit, go watch it, come back and hear yeah. what we have to think. The community, this is our community outreach uh, 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 pr- our program. So, community, how about you communitize with us? And YouTube, this is how you're going to like our algorithm because we're going to be yeah, putting out shit on a bunch of niche movies and you're going to send yeah, it to people. And you won't know who what to do. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Who made a, who made like, a YouTube video on Promising Young Woman in 2023? Us! We did! We did. <laughs> Let's go, Raptors. <laughs> no, but it's just yeah. It's just I'm I'm excited to do it because it changes up. It helps me out because I'm without me, Bailey wouldn't be able to do a lot of the meat. I'm the guy who who yeah. puts the content there. He's the one who executes. The content, but literally and metaphorically, uh, and so it just because I got really annoyed by being the guy who wrote the scripts. Not annoyed, but like exhausted by the guys in the scripts, but podcasts because there's I realize nothing. Yeah, the world's changing every day and every week, but it doesn't change that drastically where there's something new happening every week. So having a buy, uh, I was going to say, bi- <laughs> having a bi weekly thing, movie cast, podcast, movie cast, past, p- podcast gives me burp or breathing room. Mm-hmm. And I guess Bailey. Until we have a team of we, editors and then we can actually do this on a weekly basis. Cause then we're not bogged down by having to, create the final product for y'all to enjoy. We can actually touch grass once once we have editors. Mm-hmm. 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 And that will be all thanks to you and thanks to Panda and thanks to Afro and thanks to our wonderful to community who got us yeah. here. Exactly. So like I'm I am excited about movie movie cast because usually Panda or no Panda our podcast 90 98% 8% of the time ends with talking about a TV show or a movie. So why don't we just, you know, go on that for an hour every other Monday and then do that. And then it, and then it just, yeah, as Bailey said, if you guys want to watch the movie with us, don't watch the podcast. Uh, watch the movie and then come back the week of and then discuss it with us mm-hmm. and have a, a fun time. So it's like, why do you want to make life hard? Mm-hmm. Now, Raza, do you want to go off on a little tangent? I feel like we talked a lot at the beginning. Do you want to just do two of the week and call it a day? I, 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 
Oh, what's the tweet of the week? Yes, tweet of the week. I want Bailey to ruin. No, here I'll put it. Okay, I'll put it on screen. Then fuck it. I'll add this to that. That's chat part. Oh, hold on. I want to do some editing because I put some food in. My oh, mouth. um, anything special <laughs> for the holidays? Since we didn't talk about that, what did Bailey do on on, on the holidays? Before? No, this is our special sub in topic. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, special for the holidays? Nothing too crazy. Um, I cooked a Dungeness crab for Christmas rather than a turkey, and that was the best decision I've ever made. A what? My, uh, my ex-partner suggested it. Uh, I, a crab. So I cooked a crab, a whole fucking crab for Christmas rather than a Are whole turkey. Are you aware that five billion crabs are missing right now? And you cooked a crab in this climate? What do you mean five billion crabs are missing? There are... Oh, news-wise? That's yeah, okay, five... mine was frozen. Mine was frozen, so mine was caught before they were missing. So it's uh, okay, Rosa. It's okay, it's okay. There are 11 billion crabs missing. What made billions of snow crabs disappear? So, good job, Bailey. Okay, hold on. We're breaking no, snow crabs disappear. I don't believe you. Yeah, I feel like I ate them all. Yeah, twenty twenty one plummeted from eight billion to t just one billion. Oh goddamn! I know, right? Well, I think people overfish these snow crabs. I didn't eat snow crabs. I don't eat snow crabs because they're too expensive. So, if anything, this saves my ass. I didn't. I didn't eat these ones. This isn't the type I ate. I ate a Dungeness crabs. Okay. Anyways, continue your your, your story. <clears throat> what? This is logic. <laughs> so, because this crab, I'm being you said that inflation be going down. A whole turkey be costing twenty, like fifty five dollars now, bro. You know how much I pay for a whole crab? Fifty five dollars, and. How many times you get to eat crab at home? How much? How many times you make garlic butter on your own? How many times you deep fry delicious foods to go along with it? Not that often. And you know what's better than crab. a turkey? Crab. It's big. Oh, it's as big as my face. It was enough for two of us to eat. You could feed a family of four technically with it. But not. And, and you, you probably. Not a hungry baby. <laughs> I was going to say, you probably a fat fuck over here. Oh, I'm going to eat half that crab, boy. I paid $55 <laughs> for this bitch. I'm eating half tonight, and I'm eating half a stick of butter. You best believe it, bro. And you call me un, 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 unhealthy. Because that's if I'm going in, I'm going in. Because otherwise, I'm eating healthy. And then when it's time to go, it's time to go, bro. We're putting put the butter all over it. I'm judging you, but it's fine. Go on. <laughs> what? Yeah, Go it's on. eighty twenty. It's all about moderation. And when you open them, you got cheat days. You eat them. You can open the floodgates a little bit. Today is my cheat day, so I'm I'm gonna have a two can dine. <laughs> That's. I always hate that. I always steer away from that. When you're at the point that you're such a stoner, you can eat a two can dine. You got to check yourself. But before you, I think I have another one too. But can continue your, your your story. I'm just stealing your spotlight. Yeah, uh, another one. No, well, it's your turn. Is this your holiday highlight? Since you're bringing this up as the tangent, your holiday highlight is two can dine deals. I hung out with a lot of family. Awesome, great, good yeah. story. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> um, that sounds super memorable, bro. It sounds like no one else did that. Are you jealous because you didn't? I did. I did hang out with family too, so you can't use that card this time. You know what? I had a I mean, damn good time. My dad was there, so it was pretty, pretty chill. None of the families I eat with eat turkey anymore. Everyone gave up on the turkey, though. I, uh, what did I do? Yeah, I had family come through. We had a bunch of, like, brown pew, 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 pew people food. It was pretty yeah, much that, nor normal for me. I didn't do anything special. Super memorable, then. Very memorable. Sounds memorable. Hey, hey, hey. What are you coming at me for? What are you coming at me for? I also had, I had my birthday celebration, and I did a poker night with the boys, and that was wonderful. No. 
I lost fifty dollars, but I had a good oh, time. Where, oh my god, dude! Do whatever. Uh, nobody does poker ever. Nobody goes poker nights with the boys ever. That's that's. So different, so unique. I sit you know, beside doing... mommy and get drunk because yeah. she takes care of me and make chicken burgies. Maybe you should try that. It's pretty <laughs> lit. It's pretty fucking lit, actually. <laughs> have have you tried that? Exactly. <laughs> like my grandma does that for me. Shout out to Fran. Oh, you're so lucky you have a grandma to, to do that with? I wish I had a grandma. 